Hello, everybody. Wonderful to see you in chapel today. Um, I hope that over the weekend, maybe you got a lot of wonderful candy and maybe you had a chance to dress up. Maybe you had a chance to do some pretending over the weekend. Um, we're going to start out today. Um, I, yesterday, Pastor Brian, yesterday I heard something amazing. I heard that seventh grade boys had an awesome basketball game. And did they win? The six, seven, eight. Give them a round of applause. The six through eight, the six through eighth grade boys team. Uh, fifth grade boys played a hard game too. It was a great thing to watch. I only got to watch the first quarter, then my children had to go home. So let's stand up with that in mind. Tell someone next to you, what's your favorite sport? Hmm. Oh, for me, basketball. Basketball, 100%. Why did you get to? <laughs> All right, who's uh, football? Anybody football? Favorite football? Maybe basketball? Who's basketball out there? Jiu-jitsu? There's got to be somebody. Karate? Taekwondo? Martial arts? Anybody? There's a few. Tennis? Golf? I don't know what else is in the house. Ba basketball? Did we even say basketball? Volleyball? Volleyball, sorry. <laughs> this probably has nothing to do with your message today, but that's all right. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get started here. In the name of God the Father. In the name of his son, Jesus. In the name of God the Spirit. Let us join our thankful voices. All right. Let's get going today. Um, just like the basketball players were hopping and getting some good hops yesterday, I want to see some good hops here. Ready? Here we go. Na, na. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 every move, every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus, every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus, every breath I take, I breathe in you. Waves, waves. Everywhere I look. Your love has, oh my God, this love, how can it be? Na, 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 every move, every move I make, I make in you. Every step I take. Waves of mercy, waves everywhere I look. Your love has captured me. Oh my God, this love, how can it be? Here we go. Na, 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 na. na. Na, 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 do it again. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Pass the brain. It's morning. How many of you in this room this morning have a messy room at home? How many of you have made a mess with glitter? How many of you have made a mess with glitter? How many of you have made a mess in, when you've come inside and your shoes are all dirty and you get yelled at? 
Woo. Woo Woo All right. So I want you to think about the fact that sometimes our relationships can be a mess. Like if you argue with your brother or your sister, if you argue with your mom or your dad, maybe you came to school this morning and you were a little bit grumpy because you had a relationship that was a mess just like your room. All right? So think about that as we say together, let's read it, Dear Jesus, we need your help. We have made a mess that we can't clean up. It is everywhere and getting on everything. Hey guys, the good news is that Jesus knows all about your mess. He knows all about it. He knows about the mess you've made with your words, the mess you've made with your actions, the mess you've made with family and friends. He knows all about it. And Jesus has promised that he will clean it up, that his forgiveness is going to fix the mess of our lives so that we get to live knowing that everything by the power of Jesus is right. So your sins, all of your sins, each and every one of them, whether you're really tall or a little bit shorter, your sins are forgiven in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And all God's people said? Amen. All right, we have a little learning to do on this song before we start. Uh, third and fourth graders, I did get a chance to run it by you, but I want to do this in choirs, and we never got to it. So could we go to the next slide there, this next one? Uh, one more. This is our chorus here. Thumbs up if you've heard this song, Holy Water. Okay. My turn, your turn. Sweet, sweet honey on my lips. Like that. Am I back? Here we go. God, I'm on my knees. Ready? God, I'm on my knees again. God, I'm begging, please again. I need you. Oh, I need you. Walking down, walking down these desert roads. Water for my thirsty soul. I need you. Oh, I need you. Your forgiveness. Your forgiveness is like sweet, sweet honey on my lips. It's like the sound of a symphony to my ears. Like holy water on my skin. Dead man, ready? Dead man walking, slave to sin. I want to know about being born again. I need you. Oh, God, I need you. So take me to the riverside. Take me under, baptize me. I need you. Oh, God, I need you. Your forgiveness, your forgiveness is like sweet, sweet honey on my lips. Like the sound of a symphony to my ears. Like holy water on my skin. Let's sing that again. Your forgiveness. Ready? Your forgiveness. Nice and strong. Is like sweet, sweet honey on my lips. Like the sound of a symphony to my ears. Like holy water on my skin. All right. You guys can take a seat. First thing I need you to do is look at your feet, and now take off your shoes. Go. Let's go. Let's go. I have to be done in one hour. I need your shoes off. 
shoes off. No. No. All right. Get your shoes in your hands. Get your shoes in your hands. Now you have to listen to these instructions. You have to listen to these instructions. All of these shoes go in this aisle, okay? All of these shoes go in this aisle. All of these shoes go in this aisle. All of these shoes go in Miss. <laughs> All of these shoes go in this aisle. Go ahead, get them in there. That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. All right. All right, all right, all right. So tell me, does this kind of look like a messy room right now? Yeah, yeah it is. Oh my goodness, look at all these shoes. Uh, all right. So when you guys have a messy room, do you have, do you have clothes all over the floor? No? No? Miss Johnson, what does it look like when you have a messy room? Teach your stuff everywhere. Teach your stuff everywhere. All right, so here's the story, okay? Jesus is just getting done with chapel at Trinity, and he says to his disciples, hey, we're going to go have a big feast, but first we're going to gather together. During supper... When uh, they were all gathered together, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands. Did you hear that? So Jesus, knowing at this time that God the Father had given all things over to Jesus. Okay? Everything was on his shoulders. Everything. Okay? And when he realized that, he got up. From supper, he took off his fancy outer robes and taking a towel, he tied it around his waist and he began to wash the feet of his disciples. How many of you have heard this story? Why do you think the towel around Jesus, do you think it looked nice and clean when he was done or do you think it was a mess? A mess. Do you think it was nasty? Yeah, yeah. How many of you are glad we didn't take our socks off? Okay, here's what we're going to do. When Jesus is teaching, okay, when he's teaching us about how to lead people, Jesus says, I'm going to show you how to lead people, and then you're going to go lead people the same way, okay? So I need one teacher volunteer from that side. I need a teacher volunteer from here, a teacher volunteer and a teacher volunteer. All right, go to the back. Go to the back. And you're over there. You're good. We got it. All right. All right, not all the way to the back, just to the back of the shoes. Go to the back of the shoes. All right. Now, over here. Who is the most trustworthy of all of you students? Sam. All right, go back there. You're going to help Mrs. Pfeiffer because you're from Mrs. Pfeiffer's section. All right, which one of you is the most trustworthy? The most trustworthy. All right, Miss Dozy. You have to go take, go stand by Mrs. Elliot. How about over here? The most trust. Are you sure? All right, get up there. You got to go stand by Miss Johnson. All right, over here. You. Yeah. All right. All right. So we have the one, two, three, four. We have the four most trustworthy students at Trinity. Okay? All right. So now what we need to do. Thank you. 
All right. Are you ready? Remind me your name. Owen? Are you the first of your name? Okay. All right. So we're going to pretend that all of these shoes, okay, all of these shoes are a mess, okay? And we're going to pretend like these teachers have to make it through the mess, okay? Who, who threw their shoe at me? All right, all right. So here's the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. None of the teachers can open their eyes. Now I have a question. Can, do you guys think we can trust them or do they need to put a blindfold on? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is not the Coliseum. All right, we need four blindfolds. Who has like a sweater or a scarf that they can volunteer? All right, hand them over. Hand them over. Go ahead, give it to Mrs. Elliot. Mrs. Piper needs one. All right, all right. So I have a question. I have another question. When you guys go through life, is life quiet and peaceful? Is there a lot of noise? All right. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Boom. All right. So here's how it's going to go. All right. All right. We need good leaders and good followers. So the time to be noisy is soon, but it is not now. Okay? So... I want us to gather along the sides. Because if you look in the aisles, you can see there's not many shoes on the sides. So get up and get in the sides of the aisles. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, that's quiet. Quiet, quiet. All right. Shh. Quiet. The best way to be quiet is if you close your mouth and stop breathing. All right. So now, the really cool thing about going through the mess of life is that Jesus has given all of us one another. Okay? He knows we're going to need help, and it turns out that he has a whole bunch of help for us. So... All of you on the edges, you guys will help. You will not make it harder. Your job is to help them, okay? So now, if you're, if you're one of the leaders, take your teacher by the hand, and you can use words, and you can guide them with your hands, but you got to try and make it down, all right? All right, this is not a race. Teachers, leaders. Bring the teachers forward. Go ahead, bring her down. You can bring her down. Bring her down. All right, bring her down. Come on. Bring her down. Bring her down. Let's go. Oh, no. All right, we're getting there. Whoa, whoa. All right, all right, let's, let's hear the report. We need to hear the report. Over here. You're fine, you're fine. All right, over here. Shh. Hey, guys, be quiet. We got to get the report. 
We got to get the report. Miss Groling, how did it go? Did you step on any shoes? Yeah. Okay. But leave them alone. Okay, so Miss Groling stepped on shoes. Miss Johnson, did you step on any shoes? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, she says. I had kids throwing shoes. You had kids throwing shoes. Mi Mrs. Elliot, did you? Just a few. Okay, guys, we have to start over. Back to, back to the other side. Let's go. Get in the edges. Get in the side, get in the side. Hey, put him back, put him back, put him back. Get in the side, get in the side. Get in the side. Get in the side. Nope. He's a cool dude, though. All right. All right. I'm running out of time. Listen up. Hey, guys. Guys, guys. Hey. There's a mess in front of these four teachers. They're blindfolded. When you look at the aisle in front of them, is it only their shoes in their way? Or is it your shoes in their way? So if you're going to lead like Jesus and help other people, what will you do with your shoes? Pick up your shoes. Pick them up. Pick up your shoes. Put them on. Put them on. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. We're almost done here. Do we have the teachers blindfolded? Teachers, are you blindfolded? Okay. Quick. Leaders. Leaders. Leaders, do you have your teachers? All right, bring them to the front. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. hurry. Yeah. All right. Everyone give the teachers a big round of applause. All right, everyone give the give the leaders a big round of applause. All right, you can go sit down. Okay. All right. I got to wrap it up guys cuz cuz I'm I'm over time. But I want to tell you guys what I was hoping would happen happened. Okay? Shh. So, when all of you guys picked up your mess that was in front of somebody else, was it easier for them to walk down? Yeah, but I'll, I'll just tell you what I saw right here in the middle aisle. Right here, there was still a pair of shoes left. And Isaac here, Isaac, did you already have your shoes on? He sure did. And then what did you do next? He went and moved the last pair of shoes He picked up someone else's mess. He didn't have to. That wasn't part of the directions. He had both of his sneakers on. Look at these cool sneakers. He had both of these sneakers on. Oh. Those are bad. And then, and then, for somebody else, with no benefit for Isaac... He showed that he's a leader, just like Jesus.
Let's pray. Dear Jesus, repeat after me, dear Jesus. Okay, when we're praying, let's pray like we mean it. Dear Jesus, help us to serve, lead, and love like you. Amen. All right, time for our offering. If you have it, you can bring it up. It's a new hymn of the month. We're singing Children of the Heavenly Father, the first and the last verses. Do the best you can. Ready? <clears throat> Children of the Heavenly Father, safely in his bosom gather. Nestling bird nor star in heaven, such a refuge air was given. Though he giveth or he taketh, God his children ne'er forsaketh. His the loving purpose solely to preserve them pure and holy. Will you pray with me? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's stand up for our final song. <coughs> All right. Here we go. Bless, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Worship his holy name. I sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I'll worship your holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me. Let me be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord. Bless the Oh, my soul. Worship his holy name. I sing like never before. Oh, my soul. I'll worship your holy name. You're rich in love and you're slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, my soul, worship his holy name. I sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I'll worship your holy name. And on that day, and uh, when my strength is failing, the end draws near and my time has come. Still my soul will sing your unending. Ten thousand years and then forevermore. Bless the... Worship his holy name. I sing like... Oh, my soul... I'll worship your holy name. All right. You may be seated. We have some announcements.
Good morning. We've got two students here who are going to give your, you your morning announcements. Um, but I'm looking up here at the altar and we don't have many offerings. So what's our offering going to for November and December? Oh my goodness, we have forgotten. I need to remind you. It is going to the, thank you, Devin, the food bank. It is to the food bank. So here's a challenge for you. Let's see if we can have that altar filled with canned goods, non-perishable, maybe a box of uh, pasta or some noodles or some beans. Let's see if we can fill that up. So I wonder, last year we brought in over 800 pounds. Wow, isn't that fantastic that we can give to our community? So next week on Wednesday, as you head out the door, see if you can remember to open up your pantry and bring a box of cereal or a can of soup or something. And let's see this much fuller next week. Right? Yeah. All right. Challenge on. Girls? Good morning, Trinity. Today is Wednesday, November 3rd. The weather for today is supposed to be partly sunny with a high of 52 degrees. Please pray with me. Dear Jesus, thank you for Miss Mistis watching us during recess so that we can be outside to play. Please bless her with a great day. In Jesus' name, amen. Hot lunch today is pizza, veggies, fruit, and milk. This morning we want to celebrate everyone who has a birthday in November. So if you are a student or a teacher with a November birthday, please stand So now so we can celebrate you. <laughs> Sit down. You look great in your polos. Remember to keep them on and visible all day. When you head out to recess today, be sure you check the back hallway and the collection of jackets and sweatshirts is growing. Congratulations to our boys basketball team on their victory last, victory last night. Great job, guys. Don't forget that tomorrow is an early release day. School is out at 11.30, and there is no school on Friday. Have, Have a, great a great day. day. Go, Go Crusaders. Crusaders. I'm so bad. And Shelby. Okay, those November birthday people, can you stand one more time? We're going to sing to you. November birthday people. Okay, let's sing together.